What are the five biggest enemies to you passing your step exam and acing it? Hello everyone, if you're new here, my name is Malki Assad, a plastic surgeon resident in the US and I scored 271 on my step 1 and 272 on my step 2. And through my extensive experience tutoring students through the step exam process, I'm gonna share with you your 5 biggest enemies that will prevent you from passing your exam and scoring high. And the last one is the most dangerous. Enemy number one is the noise. When you're studying for the step exams, there is so much noise regarding the resources, the advice, how many times you have to go through a resource, self assessments you have to do, Anki decks, flashcards, notes. And the question is, which ones are the best ones? Which ones do I need to prepare from? And having gone through the process myself and guided many, many through this process as well, I can tell you that many of these resources are actually good resources. But this is not the question that you need to be asking yourself. The question is what is the minimum number of resources and what resources are these that I need to go through to pass my exam for step one and score very high for step two and step three? Because you don't have years to study for these exams. And in my opinion, it's a combination of a question bank like you all and a high yield file like the high yield files from the match guy which are actually fully free and you can download them fully for free by clicking the link in the description below so that combo of a question bank which explains to you the concepts why questions are wrong teaches you things in the exam style and the high yield file that focuses on what is high yield so you can figure out this important aspect of the exam early on in my opinion it would lead to the most efficient and successful way to ace your exams remember there is so much noise so much advice and blogs and resources this is so much noise that it distracting you from listening to the main resources that will get you there and getting lost in that noise is a very dangerous enemy that will destroy your chances of acing your exams the second enemy to you acing your exam is bad influence from the people around you i've told the students who their main problem was getting dragged down by their friends who don't care about their future who don't have big ambitions spend their whole day playing around or they bring the students that is studying down because they are trying to come to the US, do big things. Sometimes this bad influence could be a family member or a spouse or a partner or a girlfriend or a boyfriend. So if you find any of these bad influencers in your life, you have to isolate yourself from them. Don't say it's fine, it's gonna get better. You have to make an end to it and focus on your future. The third enemy that can really destroy your chances of acing your exams is too much stress. I really understand that passing the exams and the USMLE process is very stressful, but you have to have healthy ways of dealing with this stress. And in addition to that, you have to minimize the stressors outside the studying. So if you have stressors financially or stressors from your family or stressors from friends, try to find ways to solve these external stressors so you can focus more and handle better these internal stressors that come with studying for a very difficult exam. Healthy ways of dealing with stress is working out that can clear your head eating healthy not compromising on sleep I see many people who tell me you must not be sleeping to be able to do the things you're doing and my response to them sleep is the only thing I do not compromise I'm sure you've been in this situation when you sleep less you feel grumpy the whole day you can't focus on things you feel tired you don't enjoy your day so that's why I recommend keeping a very very healthy sleep schedule and the final tip when it comes to dealing with stress is keep your social network don't isolate yourself from your family or your friends when you're studying for an exam but on the other hand don't spend hours and hours with them maybe hour hour and a half a day your fourth enemy to you acing your exam is procrastination procrastination is a common topic for youtube videos youtubers you'll find many many blogs and videos about that but when it comes to the usmle exams by procrastination i mean i'll study this tomorrow i'll start my usmle journey next week i'll buy the books next month I'll delay biostat, it's hard, I'll worry about it later. And the way to find this enemy is having a very detailed plan and schedule. Have a plan of what you will be studying on every day of the week. Have a plan of how many hours you'll be studying a day, which hours do you have for studying, which hours for break. And when you have that set schedule and you don't meet that schedule, you start feeling a little bit bad and you're like, okay, let me do it. And multiple studies have found that when you put things down on the paper or on your phone or some kind of schedule, you're more likely to do it. And of course, studying for long hours doesn't happen overnight. So if you're studying five hours today, don't jump immediately to 12 hours tomorrow. Gradually increase it because the step exam is a marathon. It's not a sprint. You don't want to be studying well for two days and then take the month off. Now, finally, to the worst enemy you have when it comes to studying the step exams. Can you guess it? 
It's your phone. Your phone is a huge distractor. Social media, calls, texts, searching things online and now things are even harder because the importance of using chat gpt to explain topics to you most of the resources are online so it's on your phone or your computer and things are integrated very well between your phone and your computer that you keep getting these notifications everywhere all the time also the algorithms of instagram tiktok facebook are getting smarter and smarter to keep you addicted to them and keep scrolling that's why you have to have a very detailed plan of what are you doing with your phone or the notifications on your computer when you're studying because if you get interrupted every five minutes with a text or with an instagram notification or you start scrolling and now it's half an hour there that's a disaster for your studying so there are multiple strategies to go around that the best one is to keep your phone away when you're studying so you even put it in a completely different room and maybe keep only the call thing on in case somebody wanted to call you for some emergency or something delete all the social media profiles from your computer and turn off all notifications and disconnect it from texting so when you're studying using your computer your world the high yield notes from the match guy you're not getting distracted by social media stuff on your computer have very specific plan and breaks on when you can access your phone and also limit that so let's say in your schedule you have one hour of studying and five minute break you would have an alarm that would ring after one hour of studying and another alarm that would ring after five minutes of break because again if you start scrolling you lose track of time and now you lost half an hour instead of your dedicated five minutes for break and it might not be a bad idea to delete certain social media accounts that you find very addictive during your study period so a combination of keeping your phone fully away during your dedicated study time have a stopwatch or an alarm for your study time and for your break time and consider deactivating addictive social media accounts when you're focused on studying and as i said if you need access to our high yield files for step one step two and step three check the links i will leave in the description below and you can access them fully for free you'll put your information and then you will start receiving these high yield topics of every subject on the exam you signed up for delivered to your inbox and because these notes are only high yield topics and if you have difficulty understanding them we created a course that explains these topics to you in seven days six hours of tutoring a day with some breaks so you can cover all the high yield materials of step one step two or step three in just seven days and these courses are fully risk-free because i don't want you to sign up and not like it so the way we make it is if you sign up and you're not happy after the first session we'll give you your money back no questions asked because again our priority is that you're happy and successful and if you need more involved tutoring one-on-one -on -one tutoring we made the first session fully free for you so you can check out the tutoring and if you like it you can commit for a bigger package if you don't like it you didn't lose anything and i'll leave the link for that in the description of this video you talk to our customer support team they understand your situation and they connect you for this free session with the tutor that best fits your situation and again this 30 minute tutoring session is fully free you don't have to commit to anything for that i hope this video taught you something about the biggest enemies for your step one or step two or step three success if you find any value in this video i would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and share this video with your colleague who's also preparing for their step exam before you go make sure to check out this video i recorded about step one thank you everyone so much for tuning in and good luck on your exam